Ahi ahi māre, mere kere hime te ki a koutou. Kei te pehi a koutou. Kā rawe haere mai ki no frills te reo Māori, where we're going back to basics and covering the tense markers. The tohu wā, part two. Part one, we covered the first three of six. As a quick refresher, they were kaite, ka, i. In this clip, part two, we're covering kua, e ana, and ite. Catch this. Kua, e ana, and ite. Our pronoun for this week is kue. Kue. And I'm going to chuck in two new verbs, two new action words. They're going to be eat, kai, and sing. Waiata. Kapai, let's get cracking. Kua. Generally speaking, have or has, if you strike that in an English sentence, you'll resort to kua. For example, you have eaten kua, kai, kue. You have sung kua, waiata, kue. Kapai ne. Repetition, repetition until it sinks into the pinati. E ana. The same as far as tense is concerned, present tense, as keite. Except keite, da 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 da, keite verb. The verb in e ana sits in the middle. For example, you are eating. E, kai, ana, kue. If you happen to be singing right now, e, waiata, ana, kue. Ka pai ne. We'll also cover ite, remember? I te. Generally speaking, when you strike an ing, in a uh, sentence in English, for example, crawling, uh, running, crying, that's in the past tense, you use the ite uh, tense marker. For example, you were eating. Ite, kai, kue. And if you were singing, ite, waiata, kue. We've covered all six tohu wa tense markers, but catch this, I'm about to double your real kete, your real basket of knowledge. We can change this statement that I've just said by the tone of our voice into a partai. Change the statement into a partai just by the tone of our voice, and then we've doubled our kete. For example, Kua, kai, kwe, you have eaten. But what if I was to say, kua kai kwe? Have you eaten? What if I was to say, ite, waiata, kwe, you were singing, but let's change my tone into a sentence. Ite waiata kwe? Were you singing? You've doubled your kete. Karawe. Right, we're going to finish just by giving a few examples for you. Faka paki hatia. Translate these into English. Kua. Waiata. Kwe. Have a think about it. Kua. Waiata. Kwe. If you got you. Have sung. Kapai. If not, we've got two more examples. Hang in there. How about this? And it's a partai, it's a question. E hoa. Ite kai kwe? Ite kai kwe? Mate, were you eating? Were you eating? Kapai. And finally, E kai ana. 
Did you get you are eating? Present tense, e ana. Kapai, hang in there. I know that's been a lot. I've tried to keep it as simple as possible. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Kara fewer. I kia pai to ahiahi, a kia pai to kirihimete. Karawe.